The only absolute knowledge attained by man is that life is meaningless. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Every existing thing is born without reason, prolongs itself out of weakness and dies by chance. I've noticed something about you. You get great pleasure from very nihilistic, dark, and existential <laughs> perspectives. I don't know if it's, it's, it's just is, but maybe you're addicted. All right, I must admit, I really turn into a nihilistic monster. I am vigorously digging through the depths of the flux of existence by gazing at everyone through the lens of her capital T majesty, True. Through the nobility of the Let's Save the Nature boat trip, I see a bunch of bored people desperate for a cause worth praising by their friends over a glass of beer. You know, the funny thing is that we just arrived on that beach to clean the rubbish around, but the problem is that there is no rubbish and people are like, hmm, there is no rubbish. <laughs> so they literally need rubbish to justify their. Uh, existence. And one day I woke up with an idea I'm gonna drive to India. You quit your job? How did you get money? Where, where are you gonna go? Through the eloquence of the young philosopher driving his little van shaped rebellion against the fakeness of the modern society, I see just a wittily assembled camouflage inflating the spark of sanity into the flame of grandiosity that is burning only to attract exactly the same thing it was created against. And my biggest dream actually is to change the world. And if I only change one person, then I changed the world already, but why stop there? Through the rows of the meadows of the marathon winner, I see that she's not running to, but rather running from. The futile hollowness of such a beautiful, but still meager and pale existence. What is it about running that got you started? Like, what, what did you like so much that hooked you? Uh, actually, maybe... Um... Through the celebration of beauty, I see nothing but a copy-paste factory for the marketplace that devalues every entering its soul. <sighs> I've got orphan, aguishly reflecting upon humanity. I've got colorblinded staring at the prism of existence. I've choked on the muddy waters, greedily swallowing from the abyssal well of the truth. What is left, I wonder, in the depths of my ribcage, a victim of the self-committed plunder, I yell, keep slowly drifting from the stage. That's how it feels to be a nihilist, and it's sad, but uh, a neutral share of misery leads again to a certain kind of very abstract and weird joy. Hey, random guy with the beard, don't you dare to interrupt my whining about life. I have about 647 books about everything from nihilism, psychology, spirituality, religion, philosophy, you name it. What? what? What the heck are you doing in my video, you strangers? Till we explain you why nihilism is not the answer and why one eventually must overcome it, let me tell you that in a small city in Turkey, the first gathering of the Goddard's Club has happened <laughs> and first time in my life I managed yeah, to face to face nice meet my subscribers. I'm Bisham from Barbados. Jonathan from Germany. These are completely lost in the transition to the liberation dudes. I actually thought that becoming like a Buddha or Bodhisattva is the goal of life. Five years I was on an existential search. Fully indulged into spirituality, I went to Zen monastery. Zen was not extreme enough from a certain point anymore, so I thought I have to get rid of all worldly pleasures. You start with religion, you, you dabble into philosophy, you dabble into spirituality, uh, mysticism, metaphysics. The search is always the exciting part. Because you don't know, there is that elated excitement that you may find something. And then you realize that there is simply nothing to find. Everything is a lie. 
worth only denying. Thus, of course, nihilism is the answer to every humanly created structure. I would say that nihilism is a negative philosophy which apply to the intellectually stronger characters. A counterbalance to, let's say, spirituality or religion, which is a positive philosophy. If the disease is existent, like, let's say the pharmacy is philosophy, and nihilism is where all the painkillers are. Wait, I heard that painkillers are not that healthy. Is that true, doctor? This sort of painkiller relieves the philosophical itch in your ass, but the relief comes at a high cost. People who think I'm like so over the top, I'm so philosophically mature or something like that, they see like I reject everything they believe in in a couple of single sentences, and that's interpreted as a certain kind of arrogance. All we are doing is just making noises with our mouth. If I am Chinese and I start speaking Chinese, you have no fucking idea what I'm going to be saying. Yeah, yeah, true. But I could be saying like the highest truth. All you would hear is <laughs> Like, you know, you, you have no fucking idea. I think it's a side effect when you start looking for capital T truth. But how can one fully embrace that enough destroyer? If you are from a nihilistic background, you're trying to socialize with people that are not. It's about becoming now a master of changing faces, changing the mass. But how can one just be a simple guy? I mean, I feel like you're asking me for a remedy or a cure, but I don't have one. Whoever took the red pill and realized there's nothing else to life, wish they had taken the blue pill. And they could, they'll try and take the blue pill, but you, you already took the red pill. There is one cure, dementia. If you can forget all of your memories, and if you can forget what the fuck this is... I know this steak doesn't exist. I know that when I put it in my mouth, the Matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I realize? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss. But if the price for such a tough journey is disappointment, why people are still interested in that nihilism? People are interested in all kinds of escape. Every philosophy, everything is a mental masturbation. Nihilism is probably one of the more fancy ones. It's just a pleasure for the mind. Pick your poison. What do you want to jerk off to? Um, contemporary Mahayana tradition Buddhism click. The mind is everything. What you think you become. Oh, this sucks. I cannot jerk off to this. Damn it. Um, let's see. Existential nihilism. Click. Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everyone is going to die. Uh, stoicism. Let's try stoicism. He is more powerful who has power. Uh, Non-duality. Click Click on that. It's not two, nor one, nor nothing, nor all of these, uh, nor none of these. Uh, absurdism mixed with psychoanalysis. Click, click. We are gods uh, with anuses. Uh, uh, the broader sense is we live and we die. In between, we jerk off. <laughs> That's where actually why I'm so inspired nowadays by creating any videos because I got really confused why would I continue. You're on a space rock floating in nothingness, infinite nothingness, and the infinite nothingness is expanding. That means endlessness is getting bigger. That makes no fucking sense. But there is some certain beauty in the entire thing. Like even the way you put it, like it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun, right? It's funny as yeah, well. Yeah. So nihilism is just a nuclear lubricant for a special sort of perverts like me that offers the last hope for correcting your erectile dysfunction toward the dubious nature of humanity. Because nihilism in a certain way is still interest in the world because you still don't care. It's still some some layer. What does it say to you? It restates the negativeness of the universe, the hideous, lonely emptiness of existence, nothingness, the predicament of man forced to live in a barren, godless eternity, like a tiny flame flickering in an immense void with nothing but waste, horror and degradation, forming a useless, bleak straitjacket in a black, absurd cosmos. People like the loop, but nobody dares to pour it on top for the final jerk off. Because it's so unbearable to live in the truth 24-7. Even if you decide to have the final ejaculation on the nuclear nihilistic steroids, where will it lead you? These penguins are all heading to the open water to the right. But one of them caught our eye, the one in the center. 
he would neither go towards the feeding grounds at the edge of the ice, nor return to the colony. Shortly afterwards, we saw him heading straight towards the mountains, some 70 kilometers away. Dr. Ainley explained that even if he caught him and brought him back to the colony, he would immediately head right back for the mountains. But why? The final goal, if you want to put it like this, I used a filthy word now, because it's really no goal, but let's say that the dissolving of the goal, losing one's individual perception, just being controlled by the life force itself. To get into that state, which I think is the greatest desire of, of every human, knowingly or unknowingly, is also our greatest fear. But to get into that state or non-state or however you want to put it, I think that it does not have anything to do with what you do or not do. You're holding on to the positive and you're holding on to the negative. Holding on to the negative, you're still holding on. It requires energy. It requires effort. The question is, can we free fall? Can we not hold on to anything? Can we live in a state of nothing and a state of constant mystery? That is something to explore. But first, one should drop everything by embracing it. Truth is supposed to be all-encompassing, like a full circle. There's nothing outside of truth. Truth should be all and everything. So every damn lie that society has created took you this book. One should read out loud and not deny, but laugh like a new born baby. Oh what is, what is so his cute. name? Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and finally become a wise fool that is proclaiming the black pug named Pablo Escobar is the highest truth of my life. <laughs> or Akuna Matara should investigate it further, huh? The more you want to prolong your search, the longer you're just wasting time. I understand that nihilism is just an obstacle, just another shit, but it hit me hard. <laughs> and I cannot get rid of it. I just really cannot get rid of that plague. <laughs> like, what do I do with this existence? Oh my gosh, and why why are they keep subscribing my channel? <laughs> like, what do I do? What do I talk about? Oh my gosh, I'm so lost, guys. Never subscribe to this channel, never.